For the cheapest coins with fast delivery and quick customer support, check out my sponsor, Red Zone Coins, and use code SWIFT at checkout for 20% off. So, so Swift family, and today I'm coming back at you guys with another episode of the Saints dream theme team we have episode number two on the channel today really excited about this series honestly i've been looking forward to recording it all week probably my favorite series on the channel right now if you guys are enjoying it be sure to leave a like down below um and yeah let's get into this one right here let's quickly just go over the upgrades we made in the last video and a couple of quick little rule changes that are actually going to be happening in this episode that you guys need to be aware of so as you guys can see our michael thomas got leveled up a little bit i think that's the only change we made on offense but on defense, we picked up a couple of new safeties. Vaughn Bell and CGJ got upgraded, as well as Cameron Jordan got upgraded a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's what the squad is rocking with. And as for rule changes, let me show you guys the new score sheet. The main two things you guys should be probably taking a look at are the upgrade points. The upgrade points went up quite a bit for some of the more high overall cards. It's a little harder to get some of those players. And also, as you guys can see, a couple of changes when it comes to the training section of things. The top one is for rushing. The bottom one is for passing. So basically, if I get 100 rushing yards, we get plus two power up. If I hold my opponent to 50 or less rushing yards, we get plus two power up. And then same thing on offense, need 200 yards passing to get the power up boost, as well as holding our opponent to 100 or less passing yards to get the power up boost there. Not gonna go over how all, all those work. I'll go over it at the end of the video when we make our upgrades. But yeah, let's hop into the first game or probably the only game. We are 0-1 so far on the season, which sucks. But hopping into a game right here, we need to get the win. Can taste some carry us to victory. I've got the Drew Brees jersey on for good luck. So let's see if we can grab a W in today's episode. Okay, so starting this one off on defense, this guy's got a pretty solid team. I think it's worse than the team we played against last time. He's got Derrick Henry in the backfield, and Marcus Davenport says, no, sir. So second down and 12 right here, usering as um, our defensive lineman on accident. He's going to catch us, and actually he's going to get some pretty solid space. He says, get off me with Derrick Henry. Going to lead to a third down, expecting him to hurry it up here. And actually run Kibbit on this play, I'm basically guaranteeing that he's going to run the football. We get the run commit off and we're able to snag him in the backfield. That's how we get started on defense. My guy is hurrying it up on fourth down and three. Let's see what he wants to go with here. He's going to try and pass the ball. We're all over that. Oh my God. I'm just a bit of a step behind. Make this tackle, Chauncey. Come on, catch up to him. Damn, that's too bad. We had a chance to get off the field early and we squandered it. Second down and five right here. Let's see if he wants to go with the counter again. He's actually going to pass the football and he throws it right to AJ Klein. AJ Klein with the pick. That is how we get started off. My guy is a toter. He can't pass the ball. Give me that football back. Let's go. All right, fellas, I have one question for you. Would it be a Saints dream theme team if we didn't start off by running the QB blast for Taysom Hill? I don't think so, fellas. We are running it on first play. Give me some, give me some blocks, boys. Give me some blocks. Taysom Hill almost gets to the edge. That could have been a big gain if we got a bit more space. That play actually had some pretty good potential to go for a little bit more yards. We're going to run this right here. I see he's on the D-line. He's a D-line user. Give it to Alizé Mack. Go down. I don't need you getting hit by Ronnie Lott. Gain of two, but at least he's a D-line user. Third down and eight, basically guaranteeing that he's going to stay in cover three right here. Let's see if we can get maybe Traquan Smith open. I see him over there. We're going to roll out with Taysom. His Lawrence Taylor is on cocaine. Set your feet and make that throw for me. Let's go. Traquan Smith laying out to make the catch. If we win this one, I might have to upgrade Traquan Smith card. What a catch right there. That was huge. Gonna go with a little bit of a read option here. Let's see what Lawrence Taylor, aka Lawrence Crack Cocaine Taylor does on this play. He's probably gonna take away both players at one time because he's so good. But let's see what he goes with here. Lawrence Taylor on the right side. He's crashing in. Taysom Hill's taking off. Look at this space for Taysom Hill. Run that boy over. Let's go. Give me a truck. I actually can't truck because I'm on conservative, but it makes me feel good to flick the right stick up and move by defenders. First down all the way to the 25. Second and nine, gonna run cross drag. Let's see if he's got defense for it. I know Lawrence Taylor's gonna be shedding on the left side very quickly. At least we got a solid block though. We're gonna have triangle open. Let's go Traquan. What a grab again. Traquan Smith is balling out. First down and goal all the way at the five yard line. First down and goal. Let's run this read option again. Let's see if Lawrence Taylor screws this up again. First down, we're just gonna read Lawrence on the left side. He comes in, Taysom Hill is gone and Taysom Hill is in for the touchdown, the absolute goat. Like I said, if we get to the Super Bowl, I'm painting my face. I am buying the Taysom Hill jersey for the game. It'll be a good time, but we're up 6-0, great start to this game. 
So before they actually snap this ball on first down, I just gotta say, if you haven't liked the video yet, Taysom Hill is literally gonna truck over your favorite player on your favorite team next year. So hit that like button and great way to start off this drive with some run defense from my boy, AJ Klein. Second down and 12, gonna try and fill with Chauncey. I assuming, I'm assuming he's running stretch to the right. Let's see what he wants to go with here. Yeah, it looks like stretch right or power. He's actually running power and we're out there with Chauncey. Let's go, great defense, way to make that tackle. Gonna lead to a third and long. This guy's actually hurrying it up. I'm gonna use Res Demario. Just totally take away this left side of the field. He's running a slant right there. Ooh, we're not all over it. And a good hit from Alex Anzalone. That could have been a fumble, but he picks up a first down. Too bad. So I'm getting absolutely ran on by this guy. We should have decent run defense on this play if that's what he decides to go with. And we are there with Von Bell, taking him down in the backfield to lead to a second and 12. Third down and eight. If he decides to run this again, I will give him props. He's gonna run the football again. And we have him in the backfield with David on Yamada. Great tackle. Fourth down and eight. Let's see if we can get off the field. I'm assuming he's not going to run the ball again, but we're all over these routes with Anzalone. Don't throw this at me. We're all over these. Come at him. Send the spy. Send the spy. Damn, I need um, DeMario to come. I don't know why Craig Robertson's coming there. That's too bad, man. We should have had him. Too bad. It's going to lead to a touchdown, though. We're, we're tied up in this game. So start of the second half, we weren't able to get anything going at the end of the half there, which is too bad. But hey, we get ball to start this off. Let's see if we can get anything going with the blast. Give me some blocking. Hit that hole, Taysom. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Great way to start this off. Taysom Hill already has 50 yards and a TD. That is why he's the MVP of the series, fellas. So this option play right here, he's had almost no defense for at all. His Lawrence Taylor comes crashing down every single time, and he's going to come crashing down again. And we get caught up on Alizé Mack. That should have been a first down. Damn, that sucks. Third down. This is a huge play in this game. We need to pick this up. I'm going to double team his Lawrence Taylor. Just please block him. I know he's going to use her as JJ Watt and just kind of run around for a second after the snap of the ball. We get decent blocking. We have triangle open and Taysom Hill misses the pass. That's going to make us punt here. That's a tough miss from Taysom, but I guess that's what you get with a mobile quarterback. He's got a cannon of an arm. Doesn't have the accuracy. We got to punt here. We got to play some defense. Time to play some run defense, boys. I know he wants to run this ball. Run it at me. Let's go. I'm ready to play some defense here. If he passes this, I will be surprised, but he's going to run it again. And we're all over this with Vaughn Bell. Great tackle. Great tackle. Great way to start the drive. Third down and 14. We need some defense here. I'm all over this route. Oh my God. Tell me I wasn't all over that. I can't believe I didn't get a pick there. Damn. On second thought, after the seeing the replay, I was a little bit out of position, but it is what it is. First down and 10. If he tries to run counter again, we should have it locked up. Let's see what he wants to go with here. First down. I'm assuming he's going to pass. Yeah, he's making a lot of audibles. We're all over this. Throw it to DeAndre. We've got it locked. We have that locked up too. And CJ Gardner Johnson steps in front of that one, and he's going all the way down the sideline. Chauncey Gardner Johnson. That is why we picked him up before this episode. Let's go, CJ. What a beast. I didn't think he was gonna get there, but CJ makes an incredible play and we're up by seven. First down and 10 and we are back out on defense. He's going back with the counter play. I get caught up. I should have been able to make that tackle. Chauncey, please make this. Wow, Chauncey was an incredible pickup. He's at like 90 speed, great tackle. First down at our 28 and I'm gonna take away this route here. Throw this route to me, I'm all over it. Von Bell with the user lurk, baby. Von Bell, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Those are why I picked those guys up and they're already making plays for us. Second down and 11. Honestly, he's had no defense for this play. Let's see if he's got defense for it here though. We're gonna take it with Taysom again, and we get a block on the left side. Flick your stick. Taysom Hill staying on his feet. Taysom Hill picking up yardage down the sideline all the way to the 33. What a stick flick by me. That's gonna lead to a big first down. Again, just gonna run this play. I don't think he's got defense for it. Let's see if he does here though. He's gonna spread his D-line. That isn't gonna make a difference. Taysom Hill is still on the edge. Make a block for me, Mike. Let's go. Let's go. What a big pickup from Taysom Hill. He's already got 95 rushing yards and we're down to his 40 yard line. This is just some old fashioned football here, boys. Let's give it to Taysom Hill. Let's pick this up. The season parted and Taysom Hill is chugging. Don't take a hit stick. What a block from Mike. Taysom is down to the seven. He's got 120 yards on the day and we are dominating with Taysom Hill in this game. Okay, fellas, call me crazy. I'm running this play again. I don't want to throw a pick because we need to go up by two scores. So getting this field goal is absolutely huge. I don't mind if I don't score on this, but let's see if we can get some yardage. We're going to hand it off to Alvin. We make the proper read, only pick up a yard. I don't mind it at all. Let's take our three. 
All right, defense, give me one stop right here and we ice this game. First down to 10, we're usering with Von Bell. Nothing is open. Actually, that is wide open. Make this tackle, please, Chauncey. That's a good read by him to beat that with four verts. Second down to 10. All I can say is watch this bait, guys. I'm pretending to take that right away and I'm back to the tight end. Ooh, he actually still threw it. Good throw by him. We got to play some better defense here. First down and goal. Honestly, let's just make him take a few plays to get into the end zone. Let him throw this underneath. Oh, damn. Oh, why did I just take my guy totally out of position? That is terrible defense by me. We're going to have to get a, a first down on offense to ice this. First down and 10. Let's be great on first down so that we don't have to worry about any of the other plays. Here it is. First down, Taysom Hill. We've got some space on the left side. Taysom Hill takes a hit stick. That's why we got conservative on, though. My heart did skip a beat. I won't lie to you guys, but that's why we got conservative on. Third down and seven, we need to be great on this play. This play right here almost determines the game. Hopefully we can get Traquan Smith open. Maybe Michael Thomas gets open, um, but let's see what we're gonna go with here, fellas. This is a huge play in this game. We have pretty good blocking. We have Traquan open, catch that ball tree. Oh my God, Traquan can't catch it. And we are gonna punt, I think. First down and 10 right here. This is a huge play in the game. Let's let him take a short yardage pass. I don't mind giving him a short pass. Demario Davis says no, no to that. Great defense. Second down and 10, time to get glitchy. I am sending Heat off the left side of the field. Let's see if we can get in with it. As long as he doesn't block up his back, it should be able to get in. He actually does block it up pretty nicely. He throws right at Demario. Oh my God, that was off his hands. How did he drop that? Third down. I am nervous, boys. The palms are sweaty. He's going back with his verts play and we scream at him. That was an inaccurate quick throw. I can't believe he caught it. He's gonna have to hurry up though. Fourth down and one. Time is ticking. Let's see what he's gonna go with. It's inaccurate. It's an inaccurate quick pass and we are gonna win this game, fellas. What a good game. Shout out to my boy, Aaron FN. Wow, what a good game, fellas. Taysom Hill absolutely clutched out. That was a nail biter, I won't lie to you guys. But let's take a look at the stats when this one does end and we can see what type of upgrades we are gonna be getting from this game. Hopefully he doesn't rage quit so we can look at the stats. That'd be nice, but if he does, um, that'd be kind of too bad if he rage quits. Yeah, he actually did rage quit, so... So let's go over all of the points that we got from this game. So the total score, I think, was 16-15. So we ended with two touchdowns. That's five points right there. Plus, I think we had two picks as well. So we get six points for those. So we're going to start off with 10 and 6. Then in terms of yards, I believe we had 150 yards. So that's going to be another 6. So we have 10 plus 6 plus 6. That's a total of 22 at this point. Plus we won, so we got up to 29 points. So we're actually gonna be in the category where we're gonna be able to get an 89 to 91 overall player and an 80 to 82, which is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna make those upgrades in just a second, but first let's take a look at our training upgrades. So I think we were able to rush for 100 yards. So that's gonna allow me to power up my Alvin Kamara two extra times, which is just awesome. We're gonna get Alvin up to A. Let's see what he goes up to. Um, I think he's gonna go up to a 77, so that's pretty good. I don't think we hit under 50 rushing yards. I think he ran the ball for more than 50 yards. I also don't think we passed for 100 yards, and I don't think we held them under 100 passing yards. But in terms of MVP out of all of these cards right here, I'm gonna say Teron Armstead. We ran the ball off to the left side of the field really nicely, so I'm gonna give Teron Armstead that extra training boost. But yeah, let's get in and let's make our upgrades. We get an 89 to 91 plus an 80 to 82 overall card. Okay, so in terms of upgrades, our first one we're gonna be making is upgrading this Traquan Smith to his 80 overall version. Traquan was absolutely balling for us this game, so we need to upgrade his card. Now we have a new 80 overall receiver, and our other upgrade is going to be on defense. I'm actually in a bit of a conundrum here because all the 90 to 91 overall cards were actually players that we have power-ups with already. So I think what I'm gonna do with these cards is basically if I buy one of them, I can just put them into the lineup. And eventually if we get our power-up card enough, um, where we can put one of these players into our lineup, then I'll just apply him to the power up and he'll get plus one stats boost everywhere. Plus we'll maybe be able to even get some abilities on some of these cards. So we are gonna be throwing in Cameron Jordan right here. Without further ado, we got his 90 overall. He's got some really good stats. I also met Cam in real life. So had to throw in Cam right there. We're now a 76 overall, which is pretty nice. We made some definite nice upgrades in this episodes. Got our first W as well. And yeah, that's going to do it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like if you want to see this again next weekend or next week, sorry, on Thursday. And if you have any other tips or things you want me to put into these videos, please be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. Until next time, fellas, I'm out. Have a great rest of your day. Peace. It means no worries for the rest of your day.